Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today we talk about legendaries in the game. There's a lot of speculation, okay? How many legendaries are in the game? Have all the legendaries been found yet? Is there any legendary in the bronze arena? A lot of questions, a lot of unanswered questions. I got information today for you guys directly from Madfinger Games. Here's the word. There are 10 legendaries in the game. All legendaries have been found. So today we look at all the legendaries. We're gonna see some amazing artwork. We're gonna talk about where they can be found and what's next. So this first legendary right here is the pre-registration reward. It is a legends pistol. So only the pre-registration players had that as a gift. Apparently this was also found in the Pedro's lucky will. If you guys got this pistol from the will, please let me know in the comment. I would really, really like to know. Uh, there's two legendary pistol in the game this was the first one and a lot of people actually open it a bit too early and it was not 250 power that's the sad thing but i'm pretty sure they said in the stream they want the legendaries to be the most powerful weapons in the game and they will probably work in the future in a way that the legendaries will always be max power so we'll see about that and how they intend to do that. All right, this second legendary right here was found very early after the recent update. They had an update a couple weeks ago and they upped the drop rates in the Voltaic Fist. And then on the same weekend, the update was on a Friday. And I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we dropped all the legendaries in the same weekend. That was pretty crazy. So this is the Mew Chaser. It is a secondary weapon. It's a machine gun. There was a bug, uh, a lot of players reported that bug. Apparently when you reload that gun, you only had like 13 or 17 bullets uh, in the clip after you reload. And I think it got fixed like two days ago. I saw some screenshots on Facebook. It was not announced, it was just updated like that. Now look at this thing guys, it's probably my favorite legendary in the game. To me the best looking legendary, look at all the colors. It is a legendary sniper, it is one of the rarest legendaries in the game. I have seen like two screenshots of that. It is the OG Moneymaker Sniper. It drops in PvP, apparently some guys got it in Ascendancy. I don't know if it drops in Duels. I've seen the stats though, it is a low damage and high fire rate sniper. This is not the best option or not the most popular option right now. A lot of players tend to like the high damage, slow fire rate for the snipers. Now that is the second legendary sniper, the True Patriot. This has to be the highest damage sniper in the whole game. It is a legendary. You cannot drop it by playing right now. As far as I know, you can only get this in Pedro's Lucky Will. There are some speculations that maybe you could drop that in Bronze Arena, but right now Bronze Arena's drop rate are very, very bad. But this is the True Patriot, super cool looking also, the camo on that, the stars, uh, white and red stripes, it is amazing. Next up is a shotgun, there is one legendary shotgun in the game, it's the Ferragini, and it drops in Silver Arena. This one right here, you guys probably already know what that is, it is a... The Mother's Promise Pistol, it drops in Voltaic Fist, like the LMG or the machine gun we saw earlier. This is the only legendary that I have, I really like it. It is a burst pistol, it only has 10 bullets in the clip and it shoots 2 bullets at the same time. It is pretty unique and I love the artwork, gotta show you guys. Now I know the resolution is not perfect but check it out, shoots 2 bullets at once. It has a crazy design, the color, the aquamarine and the green, neon green accents. It is a very, very cool looking pistol. Now that has to be maybe the most common legendary in the game. It was one of the legendaries that was found early in the game. And it seemed to be dropping at many different places. Some guys got it from Blade Dancer. Some guys got it from PvP. Ascendancy and Duel, I think. This one right here is also probably the legendary most details. I will, I will have to show you guys. You maybe don't see too good, but look at this little skull. Uh, there's also uh, the Metal Zombie sticker on it. I don't know if it's always on all the legendary Kira, but the five years 
And there's also a, a handwriting or something like it's engraved. It says, I'm Kira. And then there's a lot of engraved stuff. It says, fuck you four. Uh, there's a couple uh, lines with that, that, that would be numbers like five plus five means 10 and uh, R25 the paint is you see the yellow you see some green under like it was paint and paint yellow over green and then the paint is kind of wearing off it is looking like it's been in battle a lot there's also some kind of duct tape at the at the end it is the Kira SMG I don't know if you say Kira or Kara but I really like the colors it looks awesome now check this out guys the plasma blaster was revealed very late it was one of the last legendaries that was found it kind of popped in Pedro's boxes the strong boxes some legendaries had a three percent chance to drop uh it's all neon green with uh, black metal this one is bugged some guys had it and when you try to enter a mission or a dungeon or something with that legendary weapon equipped it makes the game crash Right now, they know about this and they will definitely fix this soon, I'm sure. So nobody really knows how good it is, but some guys got this weapon already. So Plasma Blaster apparently will drop from PvP also. Now that is probably the most sought after legendary in the game. It is the auto rifle. We called it Nico Stopper. This thing is an absolute beast. It has all the damage perks. It is crazy looking good. Look at that. It's got kind of brown gray metal with some yellow paint. And it's got a bunch of blue electric tape all over the place. It is crazy. Uh, this will drop from uh, Blade Dancer Dungeon. It is probably the best legendary in the game right now. Everybody wants it. But in this game, the legendaries are super rare. I've been playing way over a hundred times the Blade Dancer Dungeon. And I'm yet to find a legendary. I hope I will get it before the next update. But like I said, what makes legendaries so special in this game is how rare they are. Now the last one, the final legendary, legendary number 10. It is the Slade's Shitstorm. It is a rocket launcher and it can be found in Silver Arena. Another one with great details. It's got black metal with yellow paint. It's wearing off a lot. As you can see at the top, it is kind of uh, kid's handwriting. It says shitstorm. And one of my friends has it. And I can tell you it's huge, okay? It's really big. And it's looking pretty cool. Now, why the confusion? And why do we think there may be more legendaries? Well, there's some messages that came from the Madfinger Games crew in the Mad Streams. Uh, first of all, they said uh, there, there was a legendary of each type, okay? But maybe... Like what did they actually mean by that? Maybe they just meant uh, at least one primary, one secondary, and one pistol. That would be true. But the way we received the message, we think there was auto rifle and burst rifle. Because right now we don't see a burst rifle legendary. That could also be a possibility that maybe there is a burst rifle. is just not out yet. Because as we know, there are more legendaries coming in the future updates. That could maybe just be it. Like in their head, yes, there is a legendary burst rifle, but they just forgot it's not in the game yet, you know? So they they send us some information. They don't want to tell us everything. And that's the beauty of the game. All the secrets, the thing that we need to find. And maybe when they send some information, they don't think that we will try to find everything, you know? So there is that. And also the message they said, uh, you have to play all the different game modes to find all the legendaries. If you just play PvP, you can only have certain legendaries. But did they, did they really say, because I don't have time to look at all the past Madfinger streams. Did they really say there's a specific legendary in Bronze Arena and then one in Silver Arena? Or did they just say you have legendaries in Arena, in Voltaic Fist, in Blade Dancer? So that could be one thing. Or maybe it just slipped and they forgot that maybe there's not an actual legendary in bronze arena so if there is a bronze arena legendary it would be one that we already know because it's confirmed that we know all the legendaries now right so the other thing though is i don't even think i ever seen someone drop a purple item from bronze arena i've seen greens and blues only so if you guys ever saw a, a purple or an epic drop in bronze arena please let me know i want to know 
but the fact that this is so rare to drop at least a purple how could you even dream of dropping a legendary in bronze arena that would be like one in a million or something if it's even possible right so guys that will be it for now i really hope you enjoyed this video it's all the information i have for now for today i will have more information about drop rates tomorrow make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications you don't want to miss tomorrow's video so if you found this video helpful please leave a like subscribe to the channel and please watch my other videos i got all the info you need i will be back soon take care guys Bye.